Hey guys, welcome back to this channel. If you are new, then welcome to this channel. Well, today we are going to go through some more interesting Tikinter basics. Well, it's all about combo box from Tikinter. Well, I hope you guys know what is exactly a combo box. It is actually a way of representing data where, you know, you'll be having a bunch of values over there and you have to choose one of them. For example, there are many different colors, but your favorite color is, for example, blue. In this combo box, you have some colors called red, blue, green, yellow, or and something like that. And you want to choose blue from there. If you want to select, some value from those bunch of options from a bunch of data then at the time you can use combo box and you're gonna see this combo box everywhere almost everywhere when you are going through some forms or when you are giving your data in forms or when you're choosing your country when you're choosing your course when you're choosing something you're gonna use combo box so similarly in a form or in any api you want to create you want to represent a bunch of data something like this then yeah at the time you can use combo box you guys now know what is a combo box let me tell you how to create a combo box so for that let me open my favorite vs code editor you guys open your favorite editor and start coding with me so guys i'm here in this sticking to basics file we have learned about windows we have learned about labels we know how to get input from the user and in the same way combo box is also a way of taking input from the user from the bunch of options that you gave to them you have some options and you want them to choose and in order to get that choose to value we are going to use combo box and we are going to manipulate that data using this combo box i'll let you know in a moment okay first let us know how to create a combo box okay in order to create a combo box let me clear this one entry we have a bunch of labels i think we don't even need them for now let me keep this under comments okay let me clear this mess for you guys we need a button for combo box to get some things from there let me clear this one or let me keep these buttons under under comments for now so we have a window we have title for now we just have a window yep we have a cool simple window with some background color okay now let us create a combo box and for that you have to use class combo box so let me create a variable called combo and combo box combo box and pass this window as parameter here and yeah we are done we have a combo box and let me place this one using grid geometry managers if you don't know about grid geometry managers or if you don't know any of these stick into basics if you are new then yeah there will be a playlist which will be in the description just go there and check it out combo dot grid let me give column or row equal to zero and column also will be zero yeah and let us see how it looks we have a cool combo box without any values here now it's time to insert some values so how are we going to insert the options that we want to insert here okay in order to create your own favorite interesting options you can just do combo of values combo of values you're gonna create a list or a set here just give one one two three four and five just give you can even give strings for example let me give girl and let me give coder you can even give any kind of data if you want in combo box. Let me rerun this one. Yeah, I think here this time you're gonna see a bunch of options here. One, two, three, four, five, girl, code. You can give string, you can give integers, you can give float. It doesn't matter what type of data you give. You can just give values here. So in order to create your own uh, values or options, you can just give combo values and, and yeah, do it. Okay. If you want to select one of them, you can just give combo of current, combo dot current of one. If you want to choose one default option from that combo box, you can just give combo dot current of one, two, three, 
four, five, we can give up to, I think, seven values, right? Uh, it starts from zero and it's going to end up to uh, six, I think. If you give combo.current of one, then two is the one which will be default for combo box. Like if you rerun this one, you will see the two as the value here. And that's the default value. If you want to set any default value, then for that, you can just give combo.current. Okay. And yeah, let's give some space here. Had x equal to 10, 10 pixels. And had y equal to 10 pixels. Yep, now it's looking better. I hope you guys understood how can we create combo box. In order to create a combo box, you can just give combo box of window. Okay, combo box of window. And if you want to insert values or options inside the combo box, you can just give combo of values. You can just give whatever the name that you want to give. So here, I created a combo box which is named combo. Okay, if you give combo of values, it's going to create options for you. And the data that you gave will get inserted over there. And if if you want to set any default value or if you want to define anything you can just give combo dot current of one or two or three whatever you can just give something like that see this time the default value is four if you want to select it change it you can change it now you created a combo box and user can see this combo box and you want to get the data the thing that user has actually the chosen one for example okay you are the developer you created combo box for me and i got this combo box and i choose three how will you get this data the thing is how can we get the data from this combo box how can we get the chosen value from the user using this combo box how can we do that okay for that we have to write a code a bunch of code for that we need a button we are actually creating some event here, right? Getting the data from the user using that combo box is actually an event. So in order to get data, we have to create an event. So for that, we need a button. So that's the reason we are actually creating a button. We already have button. So here, instead of first entry, we'll give first combo box or first data, something like that. First data, let's give first data. The reason why we are getting this error here is we didn't create it, that function yet. So the interpreter is a bit confused about this thing. Let me create function here. First data. So let us create a variable called result equal to combo da get combo dot get dot get is actually the thing where we can get the data from the combo okay object combo let's see print result if you give print result and if you run this one okay now i got a beautiful button let me give girl click me and I'm going to see girl as output here. I hope you are, you guys are seeing girl as output, right? And if I give coder and click girl coder, yeah, coder as the output. So we got coder as output. So using this function, we can get the data from the combo box. And now if you want to represent this data from the combo box, then yeah, you can just give, you can just create a label. Okay, let me create a label. I hope you guys know how to create a label. All right. How do we create label equal to using label and in that pass this window as parameter because in this window we need this variable and just give some text for now. So now we have some text and now let us place this a label. Let us place this label. So label dot grip row equal to Or equal to zero or one column equal to zero let's see hmm yeah here we have some cool label but it's not gonna show the data if you select this one and if you click here we can see the data but we have to see that data in the label instead of text we have to see five here right so how can we do that 
yes we did this already in the previous tutorials as well we can just give label dot configure text equal to result label dot configure configure text equal to result just give something like that and rerun this one Yeah, this time yes it's changing right it's it's taking the data and it's changing so yeah in this way we can get the data from the users and we can manipulate it while creating cool interfaces using tick enter now you guys know what is a combo box you guys already know what exactly is a combo box and you know how to create a combo box i hope you guys finally got how to create a combo box and how to give values in it and how to insert a value and how to get that value from the user and how you can manipulate it okay in the next video i'll be back with one more interesting tick enter basic if you like the video then hit that cute little like button and, and also never forget to tap the red button over there subscribe button so that you'll never miss an update from us see you in the next video